Hi guys, I'm Ann Freimark and I'm the team programmer here at the Amy Sanders Library. And today I'm gonna to show you how to make your own hanging yarn wall art. So there's a couple of different ways you can do this. Obviously you need lots and lots of yarn. Um, and the way I decided to do mine was different levels of green. Um, and so you'll just need to pre-cut each strand. I did about four and a half feet long. It does not have to be perfect. I just kind of roughly did that because at the end what I'll do is actually trim it to the angle I want. Um, so I overcut, but you do whatever you want. <laughs> but for each color I did 20 strands. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six. So it does take some time, but it's also very soothing, I will say. Um, the other thing you'll need, of course, is something to, for the yarn to go on. So either you can go all natural and just get a stick from your backyard. Uh, make sure it's, for the most part, pretty straight. If it's got any little twigs sticking out, just snap those right off. Or you just get a wooden doll. This, of course, would be too big for this project, but you kind of get the idea. You will also need an extra strand at the end to hang your art. You'll also need scissors and then a ruler just to kind of get you started when you're measuring out your yarn and cutting it. So go ahead, take a minute, try and decide what kind of yarn colors you would like to use and go ahead and cut those. All right guys, now that you've got your yarn all cut out, uh, what I do is to kind of get it ready is make sure you have it doubled up. So this is one strand and then kind of try and put it in the order you think you're going to put it on your stick. Also keep in mind, if you use a stick just from your backyard or whatnot, uh, make sure you kind of clean it off, um, especially if it's been raining lately. You don't want any mud on your artwork. Um, and then all you do is take your first piece and you just start putting it on here. So what you're gonna do is have a little loop. We're gonna slide the ends right through it. And then you're just gonna pull it down and squeeze it together and there you go that's the first one and so you will be doing this you just repeat it with all the other lovely yarn and you just keep taking it one piece at a time And then once you, when you keep adding little pieces, make sure you kind of line them up. So as you can see, it'll be right side by side. Um, a really cool thing to do with this, I didn't do it too much with mine, but you can use different sizes of yarn. You can use really thin, really thick, normal size. Um, And that'll kind of help create a unique texture. Um, so as you can see, I use regular size for most of my yarn, but then I have some fun little thick stuff that I'll get to. Um, if you do use thin, keep in mind, you're gonna have to do a lot more strands. So just remember that. All right, guys. So as you can see, I'm making progress. I've hit my thick yarn. So make sure as you're doing this to kind of watch where you line up your yarn. It doesn't have to be perfect, of course, but if it's close, it, it needs to be kind of close. Um, that way it kind of looks a little more perfect and straight and whatnot. Now, if you're using a natural stick like I am um, and you got little knobs and stuff, there's a bunch of different ways you can deal with that. You can just kind of skip over it like I did and just kind of embrace it in all its wonderfulness or you can sand it down, cut it down, or you can even make like a little pom-pom or a flower and put that on there to cover it up. Bunch of different ideas. It's just kind of whatever you want to do. Um, as you're going along too, kind of make sure and be aware of how much space you're taking up along the stick. Um, I've had to scooch mine down a little bit just so I can have enough space for more colors. Um, so roughly around here for each color so far with 20 strands of yarn um, and this is regular size yarn it's been about four inches and so I'm working on the thick stuff right now and we'll see how that goes but it's actually 
probably going to be around the same amount of space. Um, so just kind of watch as you're going along. All right, guys, as you're adding your last piece of yarn, pull it tight. And then just make sure once you get all your strands on there, kind of look again along the line. Kind of make sure for the most part, they're all kind of lined up the same way. All the yarn therefore will fall at the bottom. And again, as you see, just like with the first one, I just kind of went with the knots, little, little nubs that stick out. Again, you can add whatever, you can cover it up if you want, or you can embrace it like I did. And then we'll just kind of come out. And then you'll take that extra strand of yarn and you just tie it off at the end. Just kind of guesstimate how you want it to fall. Just make a nice little triangle. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and snip that. And then snip it again. Kind of get rid of that. And then what you're going to do is actually flip it. This is actually going to be the front of it. And again, kind of see where the knots are falling. And then what you're going to want to do is kind of comb it out. do this last part in a many different ways. So we are going to trim the yarn and like I said you can do it a bunch of different ways. You can either hang it where you know you're going to hang it on your wall and trim it while it's in place there or you can kind of do what I'm doing and kind of comb it out as best you can on a table, a flat surface. And then once it's pretty good, there's a bunch of different ways you can actually cut these. So you can actually either go straight across if you want, or you can go at an angle, or you can even go kind of make a triangle, make a point. Um, many, many different ways. You do whatever you want. Um, this is how I'm gonna kinda do mine. Of course you can save the scraps and use it for another craft. Then kind of comb it out again. And then what you can do then at this point once you kind of got it cut to where you want it back through, do a little trim, do a little of this, whatever you want. Um, you can even take the ends of it and fray it, especially if you got the thick yarn, just kind of unwind it. You can have little fray bottoms. 
You can then also at this point, like I say, you can add flowers if you want. You can add little pom-poms. You can add extra little chains right through here if you want. So a bunch of different things you can do. I'm gonna leave mine just like that. So I hope you guys enjoy this video and I hope you have a great day.